I know the score ended up at f five to two, but I don't think it was a five to two game by any means. Uh, you know, I think uh, Princeton played very well. Um, you know, I think they're very well coached, and uh, I thought they played hard and gave us uh, gave us some problems. Uh, I thought their goalie made some big saves, uh, and uh, you know, I think there was certainly. Uh, period in the game where we were frustrated you know we were down one nothing uh, even though we threw 20 shots in the first period but uh, you know some of that's uh, you know credit to Princeton I thought they uh, you know they they you know really uh, didn't give us you know a whole lot of uh, you know uh, opportunities whether it be on the power play or off the rush and uh, you know I think we did a, a, a pretty good job I don't feel like we had uh, you know the energy uh, at a level that uh, we usually have. Uh, you know until we started to, you know until we scored the, you know our first goal, and I think it kind of gave the bench a little life. And uh, you know then I thought we started winning, you know more, uh, you know one-on-one -on -one battles and races to the puck and those types of things. But uh, certainly give uh, Princeton a lot of credit for that. But for a lot of people, you know looking at the score of the game, they'll see five to two, but. Uh, when the score was three to two, they had two or three, uh, you know, very scary opportunities that he made look, uh, you know, uh, pretty easy. Uh, you know, they had a tip on the side of the net. Uh, they had a tip on a point shot uh, that I thought were uh, were huge saves. And uh, you know, I think Merrick uh, had a great weekend. And uh, you know, it, you know, it looks like a lot of the hard work he's put in is, is paying off, and uh, we're certainly happy with the way he played. Uh, you know, he's played all season, but in particular this weekend.